We are slowed down sound and light waves, a walking bundle of frequencies tuned into the cosmos. We are souls dressed up in sacred biochemical garments and our bodies are the instruments through which our souls play their music. Weak people revenge, strong people forgive, intelligent people ignore. The difference between stupidity and genius is that genius has its limits. The only thing more dangerous than ignorance is arrogance. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Don't listen to the person who has the answers. Listen to the person who has the questions. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Everything that exists in your life does so because of two things, something you did or something you didn't do. The more I study science, the more I believe in God. Information is not knowledge. The only source of knowledge is experience. You need experience to gain wisdom. Knowledge is realizing that the street is one way. Wisdom is looking in both directions anyway. Success comes from curiosity, concentration, perseverance and self-criticism. Just because you believe in something does not mean that it is true. God did not create evil. Just as darkness is the absence of light, evil is the absence of God. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Blind belief in authority is the greatest enemy of truth. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Imagination is the language of the soul. Pay attention to your imagination and you will discover all you need to be fulfilled. Experience is knowledge. All the rest is information. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Searching and learning is where the miracle process all begins. The great breakthrough in your life comes when you realize it that you can learn anything you need to learn to accomplish any goal that you set for yourself. This means there are no limits on what you can be, have or do. We cannot get to where we dream of being tomorrow unless we change our thinking today. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or objects. If you want different results, do not do the same things. The height of stupidity is most clearly demonstrated by the individual who ridicules something he knows nothing about. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. The most valuable thing a teacher can impart to children is not knowledge and understanding per se but a longing for knowledge and understanding, and an appreciation for intellectual values, whether they be artistic, scientific, or moral. It is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. Most teachers waste their time by asking questions that are intended to discover what a pupil does not know. Whereas the true art of questioning is to discover what the pupil does know or is capable of knowing. I once thought that if I could ask God one question, I would ask how the universe began, because once I knew that, 
all the rest is simply equations. But as I got older I became less concerned with how the universe began. Rather, I would want to know why he started the universe. For once I knew that answer, then I would know the purpose of my own life. Genius is making complex ideas simple, not making simple ideas complex. Don't wait for miracles, your whole life is a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? Well, you should. In fact, life itself is a big miracle. There are so many things that are beyond our understanding. There are two ways to live. You can live as if nothing is a miracle. You can live as if everything is a miracle. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Be a loner. That gives you time to wonder, to search for the truth. Have holy curiosity. Make your life worth living. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Everyone knew it was impossible, until a fool who didn't know came along and did it. Be a voice not an echo. Evil does not exist sir, or at least it does not exist unto itself. Evil is simply the absence of God. It is just like darkness and cold, a word that man has created to describe the absence of God. God did not create evil. Evil is not like faith, or love that exists just as does light and heat. Evil is the result of what happens when man does not have God's love present in his heart. It's like the cold that comes when there is no heat or the darkness that comes when there is no light. Women always worry about things that men forget. Men always worry about things women remember. The world we have created is a product of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. If we want to change the world we have to change our thinking. No problem can be solved from the same consciousness that created it. We must learn to see the world anew. Three great forces rule the world. Stupidity, fear and greed. Logic can take you from point A to point B. Imagination can take you wherever you want. Live life to the fullest. You have to color outside the lines once in a while if you want to make your life a masterpiece. Laugh some every day. Keep growing. Keep dreaming. Keep following your heart. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Failure is success in progress. If one day you have to choose between the world and love, remember this. If you choose the world you'll be left without love, but if you choose love, with it you will conquer the world. Coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Once you stop learning, you start dying. You can't use an old map to explore a new world. A clever person solves a problem. A wise person avoids it. A human being is a part of the whole called by us universe, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts and feeling as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Any fool can know. The point is to understand. Men marry women with the hope they will never change. Women marry men with the hope they will change. Invariably they are both disappointed.